I'm here in my office and I'm here to talk about really major changes in healthcare in 2020 and 2021. Now I'm wearing a mask. I guess you think I'm going to discuss COVID, but I'm not. There's something else almost as big as COVID and that's remote patient monitoring. And that's where most Medicare patients can have their blood pressure monitored at home. And your physician, well, they can, they can become uh, members of different remote patient monitoring programs. Now, the most important thing is to ensure that you have an accurate blood pressure device. And that's why I love this telehealth device. Now, I've looked at a lot of different devices and my one concern is to ensure that it's accurate because taking your blood pressure at home, of course, just like the doctor's office, well, it has to be accurate. And I want to remind people that 30% of everyone going into that doctor's office, they can have something called white coat hypertension, which means their blood pressures are only high in the doctor's office. And that's why, um, well, most blood pressure experts recommend patients to check their blood pressure at home. So you can check your blood pressure at home every single day, usually sitting down for about 10 minutes and making sure you're rested. And then these type of devices, well, you don't have to go to the doctor and show them a list of your blood pressures. These devices send your doctor that blood pressure and they can call you immediately if there are any changes that need to be made. It can save you visits to the doctor. They can increase or decrease your medication just by looking at your blood pressure at home. And that's why I'm such a huge advocate of remote patient monitoring programs. Ask your doctor about it and make sure that they're using a quality blood pressure monitor. My name is Dr. Evan Levine. I'm a licensed cardiologist with over 30 years of experience practicing medicine in the United States. Any information expressed in this video is based off of my own research and is solely my own opinion as a practicing cardiologist. This video is one man's opinion for educational purposes and does not substitute for professional medical advice or establish a doctor-patient relationship. Please consult a medical professional or healthcare provider if you're seeking medical advice diagnosis, or treatment. I am not liable for any risks or issues associated with the information provided.